First of all, my obeisances to my Guru Pada Padma, Nitele Previsto Mishnu Pada, Shishimad Bhakti Shirupa, Shidanti Goswami Maharaj, my unlimited obeisances to his lotus feet, and also my obeisances to Nitele Previsto Mishnu Pada, Stotarashat Shishimad, Narayana Goswami Maharaj, I offer my Uspanjali so much faith, my obeisances to them, and also to Shilamad Maharaj, Shilamarasi Maharaj, and also to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. My Dhanavad Pranams accordingly to all of you. So we are so fortunate also that in the month of Purushottam, we are going to listen about Purushottam Kata, means about Krishna. And um, so this is such a matter of our good fortune. So this Shrimad Bhagavad Katha, Shukadeva Goswami told Parikhit, the meaning is the good fortune that we are getting now, today. Actually, in Swarga, not even if you are born in Swarga as a demigod, you cannot get this such a good fortune of listening to the Bhagavatam. You cannot get this opportunity. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, maybe you've heard that when Shukadeva Goswami is speaking the Bhagavatam to Parikit Maharaj, actually, there are 33, uh, I think, billions of demigods, no? or millions, sorry. They came with like pots and they said, of nectar. And they said to Shukadeva, look, this is all nectar. Give to Parkshit and he'll become immortal. And then this Bhagavad Kata, give to us, the demigods said. But Shukadeva Goswami, he said, Example is given. Sorry, I couldn't get the example. So the Bhagavad Kata actually is not a Kata. It's Krishna himself. When Krishna left the transcendental world, he stayed in this world in the form of the Bhagavatam. When Krishna left this world, at that moment, Krishna himself, when Udava asked, asked, Prabhu, you are leaving this world and going, who, who should I take shelter of? To whom? Then Krishna told Udav, I'm going in one swarup in one form, but I'm staying in this world in another form. In which form are you staying, Prabhu? This Shrimad Bhagavad Kata. Actually, it's the directly sound incarnation, Ban Mai Murti of God. is the incarnation of the God of God in the form of sound incarnation. We are not listening to Kata, actually. We are meeting directly the Dakurji here. So, Shukadeva Goswami used to say, maybe you are born in Swarga as a demigod, but you cannot get this good fortune to listen to the Bhagavata. So, the meaning is, we are even more fortunate than the demigods. More fortunate. So, what to speak about the fortune of the demigods? Satya means where Satya, look, you know, where B B B uh, Pitamaha, the grandfather uh, Brahma lives, 
also there is also not this opportunity so if you're getting this kata opportunity in this life the goswami say tulsidas i think goswami say so where have you come from Matura. so maybe one kilometer two kilometers far i came from like 10 kilometers far so for example somebody came from delhi 200 kilometers far or something but brahma loka is like billions of kilometers far millions of kilometers far but if brahmaji discovers that there is some bhagavad kata going on so so brahma come, comes even from brahma loka running to listen to bhagavad kata why because he knows that the benefit that the bhagavad gives nothing else can give such a benefit like the bhagavatam so that's why he gives up his own brahma loka his planets and he comes for the bhagavad kata and Shukadeva Goswami says, what to speak of Brahma Loka? Actually, this kata, even, you cannot find this kata, not even in Kailash. So Goswami also say, says, so, this Ramayana kata, that when Shankara and Sati, so they were at the lotus feet of Agastya Rishi, listening Hari Kata, so, what speak of Kailash? This kata is even rare in Vaikuntha. Even in Vaikuntha, this kata is not there. So, Goswami Ji says, so garuda stays where in vaikuntha if garuda knows that some kata is going on if he know if he knows he goes also to listen so where the kata is going on even garuda leaves vaikuntha and comes to listen hari kata so see so try to understand from this that today we are so fortunate lucky even the demigods they give the swarga to come to listen to harikata even brahma gives up satya loka to listen to harikata even shiva also they, they, and, and to and parvati to listen to harikata they give up kailash even garuda leave, gives up vaikuntha to listen to kata but the matura vas needed they had to leave something to listen to kata no because here the flowing the ganga is flowing here of harikata the ganga of harikata so it came just to us and we can just take bath here in this river of the Ganges, Ganges of Harikata. So the, the glories of this month, especially in this month, the Bhagavata Kata is so, so, so glorious in this month, so important, so glorious. It's so, so, um, uh, like a great glories of the Bhagavatam in this month, of li listening to the Bhagavatam. So we are in the Purushottam Stan, the place of Guru, uh, where Krishna was born, and also where our Guru Dev did bhajan, and all everyone is doing bhajan here in front of Radha Binad Bihari. We are here. So actually, you don't have lardo like a sweet only in one hand. You have like a, sweets in all your hands. Like it's this is benefit, benefit for every side you analyze. It's only the most benefit like this. Speak loudly. Jai! So today we are listening. Tomorrow, uh, yesterday Krishna was born. So after this, you have heard 
we are listening sweet pastimes of Krishna. So this pastimes of Krishna is like a boy, like Balya Lila, childhood pastimes, is so sweet. Shankara himself, he came, he, he left like Kailash to come to see this childhood pastimes of Krishna. He came here. But Maya Jashoda didn't want to give him darshan of Krishna. So, so she, so she was afraid for her son because Shiva was a little bit uh, like his features were a little strange. And she was thinking Krishna will see him and will never be able to sleep again. So Krishna covered Krishna in a black cloth, put also Kajal in his face. With so much difficulty, Mother Jashoda, she she brought Krishna but covered with uh, red, uh, black cloth and everything Sundaram so so mother just showed that because she was insisting in any way so so mother Shoda gave just for insist, in, instance the darshan of Krishna to Shiva but Shiva was so pleased so so Krishna was like crying, crying, crying. And then Mother Jashoda knew, oh, this, this sadhu, he knows some mystic power, something. So knowing he's like laughing, Krishna is crying. So like Mother Jashoda was thinking some connection is there. When Krishna was crying and this Baba, like Shiva. So when you take, when you give bath in Krishna, just, Shiva said, just give his charanamta to me. And also do one more thing. Okay, what? When Lala feels hungry, this plate of like remnants give to me. Okay, I give. Just show that to Shiva. So you, until nowadays, if you go to Nanda Gaon, there is Nandishwara Mahadev, the Shiva who stays there. So when the Bhagavan takes shower, bath in Nanda Gaon, this water comes from his feet and comes to the head of Shiva. You see, in the head of Shiva also is Ganga. You know, the Ganges is also Charanamata of Vamanadeva. So if also God, if God takes prasad, it's very nice, but if the devotee after takes also that prasada, this is maha, maha prasada. So this tradition still nowadays is going on. So slowly, slowly Krishna was growing up. No, because Mother Jashoda saw that like Krishna stopped crying when Shiva was there, so she has to Shiva to stay there. That's why. And also Shiva also wanted to stay. So all the gopis were called after another story and they made like a party for Krishna and they were so Krishna was sleeping under the bullock card you know and the gopis they were sitting and uh, singing for Krishna
So gopis are doing kirtan and Krishna is sleeping under the bullock carts. And then Krishna woke up because when the kirtan is going on, Krishna is thinking, I want to go there. So Krishna wanted to come to the kirtan of the gopis. This is Krishna, there is so much rasa, rasa, you know, this sweet taste in the kirtan and also in the harikata. So Sura Das, when he used to do the kirtan, Krishna used to come like a, and he used to become completely absorbed in listening. So, not even Krishna can knows exactly which kind of rasa. So much rasa is in his harikata and kirtan. Why Mahaprabhu came in the form of Mahaprabhu, Shmatera, taking Shmatiratka's moods and everything? Because Krishna is thinking, who will relish you? the bliss that I have? Only Shmatiratka, she can relish. So how? Actually, I get so much bliss, but Shmatiratka, she gets billions of times more bliss than me. So where is the bliss? Where is the all this rasa inside me? But like the rasa gula doesn't know how sweet she is. It is, you understand? That's why Krishna himself. He came in the Kali Yuga and took the complexion and the mood of Shrimati Radka. And he was thinking, if I don't do that, I'll not be able to relish this rasa, this taste that there is in me. So that's why Krishna took the moods of Shrimati Radka and also his complexion and came as Mahaprabhu. So, Krishna is only three, month old, three months old. You know, he wanted to come to Kirtan, the Kirtan, but he couldn't, he couldn't even walk. He was very young, you know, like three months. So he was just crying. So that's why the babies cry, you know. So he was thinking, if I cry, Maya will come and take me. So he just started crying a bit. But they didn't hear because the Kirtan was going on. So nobody heard He's, him crying, you know. Nobody heard. Then Krishna called, called, but she, Maya didn't come. Then by the desire potency of Krishna Yoga Maya, inspired Kamsa, and Kamsa sent, sent Sakartasu. He was Utkarch, the son of Hiranya. I, I don't know if Hiranyaksha, Hiranyaksha, son of Hiranyakash. The, then somebody she came and he did something I couldn't understand. Then she was angry. So I'll give you a, a, a curse that not, not even your body will continue to exist. So the Rishi got this, get, gave this curse. And then this person fell to the feet of this Rishi and Rishi gave mercy. Oh, no, but Krishna will free you from this condition. That's why Shakatasura didn't have a body, you know. So Krishna was uh, under the bullock cart. And then the Shakatasura was thinking, I'll just come inside this bullock cart and I'll make some... I'll make I'll make some like pressure and I'll kill Krishna like this. So Krishna thought, oh, my uncle came. You know, like Kamsa is Krishna's like uh, uncle in a sense. But then all the bullock card was destroyed, like Krishna like killed like this. And then all the milk also scattered, fell, everything. And then the, the gopis were surprised. And all the gopis, they came and they saw. Everything was like spilled and everything. 
And even the, but the small boys, they saw what happened. And they, they said, Mamma Ma, Ma, we, 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 we saw, saw, saw how the, the bullock card was like turned, like um, fell, fell down, fell over like this. It was Krishna, he kicked. So the boys tried to speak to his mother, but like, what happened? But they didn't believe him, believe in the boys. They didn't believe in the, the boys, what the boys were saying. And then they took Krishna and started singing again. so the boy was so happy krishna was happy krishna was thinking why did you keep me so far and singing here i wanted to be also with you in the middle so now I'm Krishna is happy because he was in the middle of the kirtan. So the teaching is, Krishna is saying, there's no any other el higher wealth in this world than God. The highest wealth is God. But So Gopis took this wealth, which is God, and put under the bullock cards, and on top of the bullock cards, all the milk and everything, so God under and the material things on the top, like milk and other things. So God gave you everything to you, this world, everything. So every like okay every day you change your cloth every day you put cloth in your baby but you you stay maybe 10 15 days without changing the cloth of uh, changing the cloth of takuraji then you do not don't don't do anything to god but you're do, like doing worship to like a Maybe demigods or some ghosts and some entities, you're giving things to them. But you have to do Utsav, festival for God. Actually, if you, everything in your house you have to first give to Krishna. Like, for example, cloth, you have to do for God. Like, first you have to see to Krishna. So, that's why Bhagavan, he turns, like, he felt, made, felt, he, Krishna turns the bullock cars, everything fell on the ground. Because, like, Krishna is more important than material things. So also the story of Fal Vikrain, the fruit seller. All the gopis in Vraj. Gopi means? Go means senses. It pee to drink. So always with their senses, they are drinking Krishna Bhakti Rasa. This is gopi. So the gopis, they are always absorbed in Krishna. So when this fruit seller came to Mathura, there was only one discussion always. Like she always would hear about the boy, like the son of Nanda Maharaj, you know? So no any other discussion, only about Krishna. Gopis only tell, talk about Krishna all the time, sitting, standing everywhere, every time, all the time. So listening about uh, Krishna, this Fal Vikraini fruit seller was also thinking, oh, I want to see Krishna. This is the explanation that actually without Sadhu Sangha, 
If you don't have Sadhu Sangha, you see to today how many people sitting here. Everybody, Tilak, also some Westerners are here, some Westerners, those who are from Western countries, they're using Tilak Akantimala. They're in Mathura. But here, but even in Mathura, some people, they don't put Tilak in Kantimala. So they stayed so far, like in Western countries, but because of Sadhu Sangha, they are following this and listening Harikata. And so she wanted to see Krishna, this fruit seller, you know? So she thought, oh, the boys, they like sweet fruits, sweet fruits. So she thought, oh, I'll bring, bring sweet fruits. Like, you know, a banana and, and I'll go to the palace of Nanda Baba. I'll stay outside. And Lala, Krishna surely will come to take these fruits and then I'll see him. So I'll just, I'll scream, I'll scream. Who want fruits? But the friends of Krishna came. They came to take fruits. But Nanda Lala didn't come. So she was so upset, this fruit seller. And the second day, also, she was screaming like about the fruits, but Krishna didn't come. So in the third day, she made like a vow. She said, if today I don't see Krishna, I will, I will not come back never to my, I take a vow. Like I not come back to my house. Like so Krishna, she made this vow, so Krishna came. But she was so absorbed in Krishna that instead of saying, who wants uh, banana, who wants apple, so then she was just like this. Who wants Gopal? Who wants Govinda? Who will take the Madhava? Like this. Because Krishna was thinking, if the person doesn't become crazy for me, I'll not give darshan. Krishna was thinking like this. So if you're crazy for wealth, some people are crazy for kids, for their kids. But these all like artificial crazy. The real crazy is those who are crazy for Krishna. So all of you are crazy. So this is the real crazy person. So the teaching is, we all have become crazy, have to become crazy like this for Krishna. So she became crazy for Krishna. So she was calling her name, his names. So Krishna knows everything. So today Krishna heard her her calling. So Krishna was in the garden and. Krishna with his hands, he brought some uh, wheat, like grains, and he came to the fruit seller. He had some nupur uh, ankleets in his feet, and then the sound was coming ching 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 when he was walking. The, the ankleets are saying, "Where are you going?" Shakatasur came, Putana came, you know, so many bad, bad people came. You should not go out of your house alone. If you go out, you have to tell your mother. So the anklets are telling this to Krishna. Because the anklets of Krishna are, are Baladev Prabhu. It's not ordinary. Anklets. So that's why the, the anklets were like telling to Mother Jashoda this. So Mother Jashoda heard that Krishna was going out of the, the house. So Krishna... So Krishna was three years old and he was bringing some grains of wheat. But you know, the baby's hands are so small like this and like a little bit fat. So from the junctions of his fingers, the grains of wheat, they're falling down the ground and falling to his feet. Why? Who are these wheat? Wheat is the Lakshmi. So why Lakshmi is falling to the feet of Krishna? She's saying, Prabhu, I'm just saying, in the, in the corner of your house, why are you angry with me? Why are you giving me to other people? Why are you taking me out of the house? Why are you taking me out of the house? So she was holding the feet of Krishna. Don't take me out of your house. So Krishna, while he was walking to the fruit seller, all the wheat fell down on the ground. So this fruit seller, she was like crazy for him. She was screaming like, Kaneya, Kaneya, Krishna. And the, because son of the son of Nanda Maharaj is so beautiful, so sweet. And when Krishna came out of the house, how beautiful Krishna is, is Krishna. So sometimes the gopis say, so, so gopis, they, they, they make some fun. 
Krishna, it's good if you're a boy because if you're a girl, if you would be a girl, you would like enchant like you would like like everybody would be crazy after you all the time, like something like this. They're saying like because no, or maybe they said that lucky there's that there's no one a woman like you, otherwise you'll be after her. I don't know, sorry, what they they said, but just like Krishna is so beautiful, like many of many cup cupids, so so beautiful, so beautiful. So anyway. I go to the house of so the gopis they take me in the lap and they feed me so the fruit seller Krishna said okay do one thing she said sit on my lap and call me ma like mother if the gopis see me they'll make fun of me like this krishna thinking but krishna looked around looked around and, and thought oh nobody's nearby so very quickly krishna sat down on her lap he sat on her lap and he said my please give me fruits and then he stood up if God sits on the lap of someone, imagine, if God sits on the lap of someone, even the Migos, they, don't get, they can, cannot even get the refulgence, the effulgence from the lotus uh, nails of his lotus feet. So what to speak of God sitting on your lap? So actually, when Rama, Lakshman, Sita, they were in the jungle, so he told he's my mother he's my father ah okay when your friends audition is one person there friend of lord ram oh okay sorry maharaj is telling about the previous life of this fruit seller so so he said rama said to this person in the rama of lila now i cannot fulfill desire to be like called like uh, you call me mother oh no i call you mother but in the krishna lila i'll be able to do that so when he, krishna called her mother the fruit seller gave all the fruits to him and then mother just showed said krishna why how, how you have so many fruits so Krishna said, oh, the fruit seller. But the gopis actually saw what happened. They had seen. Because they were searching for Krishna and didn't find Krishna. So the gopis saw that he was taking the wheat, wheat grains to give the, to the fruit seller. And the gopis saw the path of this made for the wheat grains on the floor because the grains are falling, remember? So if you want to get Krishna, if if you don't go yourself you cannot get the darshan yeah so your son sat on her lap and got these fruits krishna thought that no gopi had seen but all the gopis saw actually but the name of krishna's mother is just shoda just shoda means she gives the fame to everyone if my son calls another mother also mother it's okay so the fruit seller after she was carrying some basket and the basket was so heavy so heavy and she put the basket down and she saw it was full of jewels then she said prabhu <coughs> i pray to you i just wanted to have your darshan and you're giving me this maya my i don't want this don't teach me cheat me with maya 
I just want to see you. So she took this basket, throwing the Jamuna, and then where is she gone? She went to nobody knows. She went to Takuji. So a teaching here. God is hungry for our love. And if you give something to God, He'll give you so much back in back, like back. So this month of Purushottam, you are so fortunate listening to Bhagavad Katha. So you should not come alone. At least you should come to call your friends and neighbors. Guru Dev used to say, each person should bring at least 10 people with them along. Tell loudly, 10, 10 people you should bring. So you should bring so many devotees, there is no, no place to even put your feet in the temple. It's so full, so crowded. Like if an ant comes, if some ant sees some sweets, actually the ants, you know that like the, the, the you know the ants, they always always call their whole family to eat when there's something there. You see, but like maybe like uh, other like goats or the animals, they eat themselves just for them and they go away. But the ants, they call everyone. So Guru Dev said, look, look, oh, Guru Dev said, if you bring someone, actually you also get half of the that person is also getting because you brought him. So, so, so Shri Maharaj spoke in a very beautiful way when Maharaj came actually everything became so beautiful when he came the, his name is so beautiful Rasananda means he has all the Ras all these transcendental mellows so so he's distributing this Ras so we have to see also the time. We are also limited by the time. So, especially our Maharaj, he's strong, strict with the time always. Because the Harikata is like the flow of a river, you know, always going to the ocean. So the Harikata is also like that, but still. Today we have to follow the times, you know, the time. <coughs> so, so Shla Maharaj will speak about Govardhan Lila Kata. So I don't want to take any time. Just want to say that Krishna, how he lifted Giriraj, what was the meaning, and especially, you see how beautiful we put this Giriraj here, the dates we created here of Giriraj. Why we did this? You see this Jayashri Devidasi Ki Jai. She's, she's from Kazakhstan. She's, she's from Kazakhstan. You see? Jayashri. Not Pakistan. She's from Kazakhstan. She, she stood up. Devidasi Ki Jai. She's our god sister. She's, she's a Western um, this, uh, devotee, and she, she decorated such a beautiful way, the Giriraj. And also, many people also helped. And last one, in Nandotsav also, you decorated so nicely. And today, this Lila of Giriraj, the Anukuta Mahamahotsava. So you, you helped me so much. So I am indebted to all of you and grateful also to all of you. So Maharaj also tell more Harikata, already 6.30, and 7 o'clock we have to finish the Kata, and after that it will be Kirtan, and then after that also will be the Arati. So today is Giriraj Mahotsava. So if some Goswami say, if you just give one grain of rice to God, to Giriraj, 
not even in any life it will be anything le um, lacking for you like Lakshmi Devi will always be in your house giving wealth so this is the glory of the service to Giriraj Krishna himself so Krishna himself worship Giriraj everyone in the world they do Giriraj Parikrama so Maharaj, please tell us about how Krishna lifted Giriraj. Our time is so brief, brief, and still we have to do the Kirtan also, Damodar Prabhu. We'll do Kirtan. Maharaj will speak Harikata. Our time is brief, like short. We have to follow the rules of the limitation of time, etc. So the fruit seller, she said, take Govinda, take Madhav, take Damodar. Before she used to say, take bananas, take guavas, take grapes, but Krishna was not coming. When she was saying, take Govinda, take Madhav, take Damodar, then Krishna was bound to come because she was glorifying his names. She was not saying take Shridhar, take take Nirshingha, take Bana. No, she was saying take Madhav. She was saying take Madhav. Okay. So, so he told also about how Krishna had the darshan of Shiva. I mean, Shiva took darshan of Krishna. So the desires of Shiva were fulfilled. And then one friend of Mother Jasoda said, Hey, Jasodhi. This yogi, he knows something. Your child is crying so much. Show the child to him. So like she was so big and like like yogi. So the gopis were calling him. What happened? He asked. So the Gopi is saying, Jashad, the mother is calling you. Oh, yogi. Why? So Shiva saw this is a golden opportunity for me. So he came. So they said, please stay here in Nanda Bhavan. Stay here. That when our baby, when Krishna cries, then he'll give darshan to you. Shiva said, no, I'm not, not, not stay like this. You know, he said, Shiva said also, I also have one condition. What? When you give birth to Krishna, I don't want to stay in the palace. I'm a yogi. I want to stay lower, in a lower place, near to the, like, sewage, like this, so I want the water of his bath to come to my face, to my head. So until nowadays, Nanda Bhavan in Nanda Gaon, when Krishna has the Abhishek, they give bath, this water comes like in a, like a, not sewage, like in a pipe or something, and comes to the head of Shiva. So, Nandishura is in a lower position. Okay, so now go for Danila. First, that for, before I just want to tell something. Now it's going on since March, the lockdown. I told many times to Shidana Maharaj to come. He said, No, I'll not go, otherwise I'll die, Maharaj. You can ask him. But now in the month of Purushottam, no, to tell him to speak these pa pastimes of Purushottam. 
He came from Purukshottam Sanu. He came from Jagannath Puri Maharaj. Shiddhashadar Maharaj. He came from by taking the orders of Jagannath. After seven months, he came. So, now about Govardhan Dharan Leela, how Krishna lifted Giriraj. Krishna wanted the gopis come close to him and the gopis also wanted to meet Krishna and the connection Now, a days, you can see in the calculation on the computer that Krishna, he grew up, he was like seven years old, and Krishna wanted to, he wanted that the gopis come to him, close to him, and also gopis wanted to meet Krishna, so, so one Nila Krishna did was Kaliya Daman, should be doing Kaliya, and also um, lifting Giriraj. You know, Maharaja, sometimes he tells the story of the Kaliya, the bum bum bum, that, that uh, song Krishna is dancing on the top of Kaliya, so nice. So when Krishna lifted Giriraj, the gopis were like, oh my. What happened? Krishna wanted to. Bring the gopis in front of him. So what to do? One day, Mother Jashoda in the morning, morning, she was making so many preparations. Krishna came and said, Mother, today is my birthday. No, my son is son of a Balade oh, birthday of Baladeva. No, my father's no. And and Radha said, Oh, sorry, Jashoda said, Go away, don't bother me. Then Krishna was like, What happened? My mother never chastised me. Like why today she's chastising me like this? Then, then she said, go away, there's you put your, put your saliva in this food for Indra, you know, everything will be juta, like contaminated. So Krishna came and holding the neck of uh, Nanda Baba and like uh, moving like this, like, like this. Then Krishna sat on the lap of his father and holding him. Father, today is my birthday. No, Lala. Is birthday of Dao, Baladev? No. Yours? No. Well, but why my mother is cooking so many things? Then Nanda Baba said, oh, for Indra Puja. Indra Puja, Baba? Father. Yes, son. Who is Indra? Indra is Maharaj. Indra is the king of Swarga. Oh, he is the king. I want to play with Indra. No, no. No. Why? He is a king. How can you play with a king? You know, the king is a king. Because Krishna is saying, you are also the king, like, and I also play on your lap, why can I not play with Indra? Then Nanda Baba said, but he stays in Swarga. In Swarga? So Krishna was doing Naravat Lila, pastime like human being, like he doesn't know anything, you know? What does he do there, Indra? Then Nanda Baba said, he is the uh, king of Swarga. You know, the, the rain that comes, by the rain, the, the, the grass comes and everything. And the cows also, they can eat the grass, they drink water, they give milk. And, and then with water also, we can cook and also be alive, you know. So they are, the water is alive. Like means we become alive because of the water. And also the cows, they <coughs> live because of the water. So it's so important, the Indra Puja, Nanda Baba was saying. Then Krishna said, 
Baba, it also rains on the ocean, yes. So who is worshiping uh, Indra on the ocean or in the middle of the ocean or maybe on the, on a far in a forest? Nanda Krishna asked. So Nanda Baba could not even give an answer, you know, like he didn't know what to answer. So Krishna said, I don't think that uh, Indra has anything to do uh, with the rain in Braj. Actually, Giriraj is our God, Devata. You see how big he is, Giriraj. You know, he's so hot, tall, tall. And, you know, the clouds come and they become stuck in Giriraj because of his height. And then it rains here, you know. So according to my view, point of view, we should worship Giriraj. This is the best thing we can do, Krishna said. So Krishna showed all these logics, uh, logic thoughts, and Nanda Baba agreed. And so Nanda Baba told everyone in Braj, Oh, Brajabasi, that puja that we are going to do today for Indra. Instead of worshiping Indra, we'll do Giriraj. Whatever you cooked, just bring in a, in a plate to Giriraj. So he announced. And everyone came and they offered to Giriraj. <coughs> Sorry. So Krishna and the Baba was with Nanda Baba, Mother Jashoda. And in one form, Krishna was with the Vrajabhasis. But in another form, Krishna manifested on the top of Giriraj and saying, Bring more, bring more, bring more. He was eating with the two hands, his both hands. Then Krishna told the Father, Baba, have you ever seen Indra eat the prasadam, the food? No, my son. Then Krishna asked the, asked the Brajabhas, have you seen Indra eat? No. You see, Father, how Giriraj is so pleased he's eating. He's eating, eating, eating everything. So, Krishna said, we are poor gopas, you know, poor cowherds. And your belly is so big. So Krishna offered some tulsi leaves so that Giriraj would be pleased. So Giriraj said, I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied, ask some blessing. Then they said, we just want, we just want that no demon make anything bad to Nandalal. We just want that Nandalal be happy and protected only. So the Vrindavasis didn't ask anything for themselves. They just asked for Krishna's protection and well-being. So to Giriraj, no, after he offered the blessing. So what happened? Everybody took Prashad and they did Giriraj Parikrama. They started the Parikrama and when they were doing the Parikrama, some go the gopis were behind, a little bit behind. And Radha told Larita and Vishaka, look, if Nanda Nandana Krishna really loves me, then in front of everyone still, he will look at me at, at, at least once. And then you can know that really he loves me. So Krishna understood because he's an omniscient science, like Krishna knows everything. So Krishna told his friends, Look how I'm so much expert. So Krishna took the stick of grazing the cows and throw threw on up on the like on the sky like this. And then Krishna looked to Shumati Radka in the back and then again took like took the stick like this when the stick fell down like this. So Shumati Radka said, Oh Krishna really loves me, you know. So but if Nanda Nandana really loves me, he so, sorry, so the cows, the cows were also in the parikrama. So Krishna also like he pulls the, 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 the tail of a calf. Then the calf also went very far. And also Krishna again saw Shemati Radka. Because Shemati Radka is saying, if he, if he doesn't see me again like this, I'll, I think he doesn't love me, I'll die. So Krishna again with another excuse of putting the calf tail. Also Krishna came in and saw Shemati Radka again. So, so Krishna now could not again pull the, the, the calf tail and also could not could not also throw the stick on the floor but on the on the up Krishna could not also uh, throw the stick up so but Krishna had some jewel or something and he was moving this and he could see the perfection of Shamatarat. so so third time they could like see each other like this in the reflection. So what happened? Then the messengers of Indra told to Indra that they were going to organize your Indra Puja. But Maharaj Nanda, he stopped your worshipping. Oh, you're crazy, uh, Indra told his servants. Indra was uh, uh, drinking somras 
and he sent like another messenger to see what was going on like eat like they say like this drink drink until you are full satisfied like drink just drink, drink until you're full like this because after you die how will you be able to drink more so you have to just to enjoy like this Maharaj just called this verse this thing so Indra was drinking so much and then uh, Indra said oh yeah so they did not worship to me and they are following this boy I am the king of Swarga I will remove Varaja from the map no, I'll end Vraja forever. So he started some heavy, heavy rain. Like, and everybody was, with the rain, everybody was uh, asking for uh, like a help. Oh my God, like help me, help me. And then they came to Nanda Maharaj for help. And then Krishna told to the Vrajavasis, don't worry. We worship Giridad, so he will protect us. Then Krishna told the Brajabas, bring all your wealth, all the cows, everyone, and bring and come under Giriraj, and Krishna lifted Giriraj. Then the Sakas also came, and so it was raining so much, but nothing like could do harm to Brajabasis. The Acharyas explained three reasons. Actually, Baladeva was angry, saying, Indra is, is so I don't know who is my father, my, my, my brother Krishna. So Baladev in the form of Ananta, like the, the, the snake, he was just uh, around, like surrounding Giriraj. So the rain was falling, but could not wet the Brajavasa inside, or the water could not come under the Giriraj, you know, because Baladev Prabhu was in the form of the snake protecting. And also, what happened is. Shiva also became angry. Indra doesn't know who am I? So Shiva brought his stridents and then he just was spinning his strident so quickly, you know. And then the rain was falling, the water. But all the water which was falling, the trident was also like drying up everything. Because he was spinning this trident on the top of Braja. That's why I want the name of the Shiva, of Shiva is Chakreshwar or Chakreshwar. Because in one Kalpa, Shiva also prayed to Chakra, to the Chakra of Vishnu, and this Chakra is also coming and protecting Braja. So it was raining, but the Chakra was drying up everything, and not even one drop drop was coming to Braj, like coming there near Giriraj. So these are three reasons why it was not wet there. Okay, although it was raining. So they told to Indra after all, nobody's wet, it's going on, it's actually they are, you know, having a party there in Giriraj. And Indra, what? You know, actually one well, another story is that when they were under Giriraj, the Sakas, they were thinking we are equal to Krishna, so they also put their bamboo sticks. They wanted to lift Giriraj also, like help. And then Krishna, he just a little bit put down Giriraj, and all the bamboo sticks of the friends broke of his friends. So the Sakas also say. So then suddenly Radha eyes, Radha's eyes and Krishna's eyes met, like they met each other in the eyes through the eyes, like saw each other, and Krishna was trembling. Then some friend told to Krishna, what are you doing? Like, uh, control yourself. Stand up nicely. Don't be trembling like this. So, actually they are doing the Bhagavad Sapta. I didn't even know. Actually, oh no, he's saying, I don't know Bhagavad They know Bhagavad He's saying like this. So the Bhagavad doesn't say about um, which hand Krishna lifted Giriraj. He lifted with left hand. Because actually Krishna doesn't do anything. Who does is his potency. So Shamati Radka is in the right side of or right left side of Shamati Radka. Oh, look, Shamati Radka is always in the left side of Krishna, right? So, so that's why Krishna is lifting Giriraj with the pinky, like less small finger of left hand, because like Radha is lifting actually. Also, you can see that in Mathura temple and also other temples like Vrindavan and Govardhan, also Delhi, Bangalore also, Navdipa and Calcutta also, in Western countries, all they come to Mathura. 
and you see in Mathura, you can see you can see this picture there on the top. Krishna is lifting Giriraj with the right hand, not left hand. In that picture there, you can see. So you cannot say anything against Siddhanta here also, because actually, in other temples, Krishna is also lifting with left hand, but only Mathura with right hand. You can ask Shila Shadara Maharaj, also Shila Ban Maharaj. Nobody did objection to this. Why? Because when they gave this scratch, like the sketch, the artist, by mistake, he, he did the right hand, not left hand. So when he told to Gurudev, he told Gurudev, the artist said, Gurudev, I made a mistake and did like this. So Gurudev said, don't worry, you can leave this, it's okay also. But then after so much time, I could do the reconciling about this. Then uh, Rupa Goswami in Bhaktara Samtasiddhu, he also explains. Oi? Ah, tá. Só um minutinho que eu tô aqui numa, numa, numa reunião. Um segundo. Você pode esperar só um segundo? É, não tem ninguém para ir abrir, não, né? Ah, vem aqui, por favor, da terceira andar, 304, que eu tô no meio de uma coisa aqui. Desculpa. Sobe aqui. Sorry. So the Saka said, Hey, Krishna, look. Give up your sleepiness and your standing these seven days and seven nights. How possible? You're lifting Giriraj like this. Looks like you're suffering, like standing seven days and seven nights holding Giriraj. So just put the Giriraj a little bit in your right hand. So sometimes Shridam is uh, like a rival to Krishna because they are wrestling and sometimes Krishna wins, sometimes Shridam wins. So Shridam wanted to. So, so they were saying, give to Shridam. So, so what happened? The, the Saka told to Krishna. So to Krishna. So many years later, I understood. Actually, by the desire of Krishna, they put uh, the artist by mistake. He put this right hand. Why? Because really, Rupa Goswami explained what happened. That the Shridam, the friends were saying. Change hands, Krishna, Giriraj, and then we can massage your left hand. So Krishna a little bit changed the, to the right hand, and then the Sakas massage Krishna's left arm. So that's why for a moment Krishna, yes, was for some time he was holding with right hand, Giriraj. So, so Indra, after he went to Surabi to ask for forgiveness. So, so Surabi came with Indra. You know, Indra came asking for forgiveness. And then what happened? Uh, the, the Swarga Ganga, like the Ganges of Swarga Loka came and also Indra gave some Abhishek bathing to Krishna. And Indra gave this name Govinda to Krishna. Govinda means that who gives bliss to the gopis, gopas, to the senses, to the, all the jivas. So that's why Krishna gives so much bliss. So uh, he, he gave the name Govinda to Krishna. So before Krishna didn't have the name Govinda. Actually, you can say like this, but this, but actually Govinda name is eternal. But according to different Lilas, these names are manifesting. But actually, this name Govinda is eternal, of course. You see, Maharaj was telling about the fruit seller that the fruit seller was already saying, take Govinda, take Madhav. So actually, the name of Govinda already existed before this Lila with Indra, understand? It's just some Lila, so... But Krishna was very happy with this Lila of Giriraj because Krishna could stay very close to, this, to his uh, gopis, you know, very near to them. So, but in Brahma Bimohan Lila, Brahma did uh, this offense, but then actually Gurudeva said, actually, Brahma cannot commit any offense because if our guru is a paradi, also will be offender. It's like a guru is a, of like Brahma is our guru. So how can he be offender to Krishna, isn't it? So Gurudev told us that actually 
Krishna was so pleased to so pleased to with Brahma. Externally it looks like Krishna was not pleased with Brahma, but actually Krishna was so pleased with Brahma. Why? Actually, when Krishna does one deed, Krishna does many deeds, many things at the same time, you know, with one action. So to the Brahma Mohan Lila, what happened? Krishna. He became all the sakas, and then what happens? He also became the daughter of all the gopis. You know, all the gopis that wanted that Krishna be their son, to be their son. So Krishna became their son. And also, the cows also wanted Krishna to become his uh, their baby calf, right? To drink their milk. So also Krishna also did that. And so Gargacharya also told. Uh, that it was a golden chance that all the daughters should marry that year. So actually that year, Krishna was all the sakas, all the friends. So actually all the gopis, they got married to whom? To Krishna. So, so actually Brahma arranged all this, you know, in a way, actually happened by him. That's why Krishna was so pleased with Brahma. So I will not continue any further now because they will still do the kirtan and... Tomorrow, it's our sixth day, sixth day, sixth day of the Bhagavatam, and we'll speak about Rasarila, Gopi Gita, and also how Krishna came to Mathura Brahmara Gita also. Tomorrow, we'll speak about this. So, now let's glorify Giriraj.